So, what's the best Android phone on the market today? I'm going to compare the hottest Android phones available right now, which are the Google Nexus 4, the HTC One, the LG Optimus G Pro, the Oppo Find 5, the Samsung Galaxy S4, and the Sony Xperia Z. I'm going to make it hardware, software, performance, and price. And before we start, I'm going to mention that I'm comparing the base models of the phones in terms of storage and price, and just the unlocked variants. Plus, this comparison is from my personal opinion, so let's get into it. Let's start off with the hardware, and in my opinion, the HTC One takes the crown with the best hardware on an Android phone on the market. With the best sound experience on a smartphone thanks to two front-facing speakers, the sharpest display on the market, the best design on a smartphone period delivered by a unibody aluminum chassis, a great performing 4 megapixel camera with one of the best low light performance and optical image stabilization. At number 2 comes the LG Optimus G Pro that has one of the greatest battery lives on a smartphone, the best storage of the bunch with 32 GB of internal storage expandable via micro SD card slot and the best display on a smartphone for a good reason. It's a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 p display as 400 ppi and even though it is less dense than the HTC One's panel there is no noticeable difference and if you have a display this sharp you'd prefer it to be on a larger screen to deliver a better gaming and media experience I think that there is a tie between the Galaxy S4 and the Oppo Find 5 in terms of hardware but it comes to user preference. The Galaxy S4 delivers a better battery, better storage options and a removable back allowing you to expand storage via micro SD card and to replace the battery. While the Oppo Find 5 has a way better design and build quality, a better display thanks to IPS technology that gives it the advantage over the Galaxy S4's AMOLED panel in viewing angles and outdoors visibility. So, if you want practicality, go with the Galaxy S4. And, if you want using your phone to be a pleasure, go with the Find 5. The Xperia Z comes with a very elegant and great design thanks to its very thin profile and nice materials. And, at the same time, this phone is waterproof and dustproof. So, Sonic combined elegance and ruggedness. The Nexus 4, well, it's hard to recommend it because of its old hardware. Its display's resolution is the lowest of the bunch and it has the least storage, the camera isn't as good as the others and even though its design is great, it is so fragile. Even though the Nexus 4 came last in terms of hardware, it shines in the software department. Thanks to SOC Android, it is hands down the best Android user interface not only because of the launcher it is about everything including the menus the included apps the lock screen and even the notification panel sock android is cleaner and delivers just the necessary features nothing less nothing more and the nexus 4 is the first phone to be updated to the latest software from google I'll give the second place to the Oppo Find 5, not because it has the most elegant user interface or the best features, but because Oppo updates its phones every other week and the most important, it listens to its customers through Oppo forums and it modifies the OS depending on how they want it to be. And the classic war between HTC Sense and Samsung TouchWiz continues with Sense 5 on the HTC One and TouchWiz Nature UX 2 on the Galaxy S4. I give it a tie, Sense 5 is cleaner than TouchWiz, more elegant and a bit lighter. But TouchWiz is more feature-packed and is closer to SOC Android, so it comes down to the user preference. The Sony Xperia ZZY puts it at number 5 because it is close to stock Android and it is also elegant and clean without forgetting some added features like pop-up apps that enhance the user experience. The last one here is the LG Optimus G Pro because its user interface tries to mimic TouchWiz in a lot of ways but is still not as polished as other UIs though it has some added features like Q apps.
Performance is the result of both horsepower and software optimization, and even though all of these devices share the same 2GB of RAM, Adreno 320 GPU and Snapdragon S4 Pro for the Nexus 4, Oppo Find 5 and Xperia Z, or the more powerful Snapdragon 600 on the other three phones, the software optimization makes the difference. And the first place goes to the Galaxy S4 because it's using a much faster DDR3 RAM and good software optimization. Benchmarks put the LG Optimus G Pro just below the Galaxy S4 at the second place. At number 3 comes the HTC One with the same horsepower of the Optimus G Pro with a slight decrease. And the fourth place goes to the Sony Xperia Z, which is the phone with the best optimization of the Snapdragon S4 Pro. While benchmarks put the Nexus 4 and the Oppo Find 5 at the same spot, the less offensive stock Android gives the Nexus 4 the extra boost in snappiness and RAM manager management and puts it just above Oppo Find 5 in terms of performance. The least priced phone of all of these is the Nexus 4 that is sold for 299 bucks, so it takes the crown for the best bang for your buck on a smartphone. The Oppo Find 5 retails for 499 bucks, so it takes the second place. The third place goes to the Sony Xperia Z at 574 price points. The HTC One sits in the fourth spot with $599 price tag. At the fifth place comes the Galaxy S4 that retails for $649. And last, the LG Optimus G Pro with a hefty $729. So I rated these phones out of 24 according to the comparison results. And the results that I got are interesting. The Xperia Z comes 6th with 11 out of 24. The Optimus G Pro takes the 5th place with 12 out of 24 and there is a tie between the Nexus 4 and the Oppo Find 5 with 15 for each. The 2nd place goes to the Galaxy S4 with 16 out of 24 and the best Android phone on the market is the HTC One with 17 out of 24. Cheers for the HTC One. If you don't care about the price, I'll put the results without considering the price in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.